Now check out this freaking item. Just hold it in your inventory and you start getting blown away. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Look what you're doing right now. Hey, what's going on guys? Zip here. Welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone video. Today I have something amazing to show you, courtesy of Original Shroomy. Check out his channel, linked in the description below. This is Mob Powers. No mods required. That's right. All done with Minecraft Redstone, Minecraft 1.8, all in vanilla Minecraft. You do not need to install any mods for this. And what this little Redstone mod, if you will, does is it allows you to take the powers of any mob you kill in Minecraft and use them as your own. Check it out. Check out how many freaking chests we have. All these different chests contain a different mob, and they all have their own unique power that upon killing them, you take and use as your own. And it is some insane stuff. We're going to be covering these one at a time. And this is some crazy stuff. There will also be a download for you to put this in your Minecraft world. And once again, no mods required for this. Insane stuff. Hope you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure you drop a like on the video. It means so much to have your support. I'd love to see 500 likes for this amazing redstone contraption. But we are first going to be covering the hostile mobs over here. And we got a lot to go through. So sit tight. So first one up for grabs here is the zombie and the zombie upon killing him will give you resistance so first thing we gotta do is obviously kill the zombie and upon killing any of these mobs you will get an item added to your hot bar it's not like regular rotten flesh which you get from killing a zombie it's actually called zombie now the way all of these mob powers work is you put the item that you get the special item you get upon killing the zombie Put it in the last slot in your toolbar right here, and you will get the power added to you. So, in the case of the zombie, you get an awesome resistance ability that actually makes you a lot less impervious to damage. You'll take a lot less damage. Oh, villager zombie. You see, we take infinitely less damage compared to normal hits from zombies. We don't have any armor on or anything. You're only taking like one heart of damage, half a heart of damage. Come on, man, come at me. But if I were to move this, for example, check it out. Now I take one and a half hearts of damage, two and a half hearts of damage, etc. But the moment you put this in here, oh my god, he's going to kill me! I don't think so, buddy. Not today. But like I said, you'll see, the moment you take it out of that slot, you will actually lose your resistance. Put it back, get resistance. Take it out, lose resistance. Put it back, get resistance. Take it out, lose resistance. Put it back, I deserve that. Next one up for grabs we have is Skeleton. That's right, Skeletor. And what happens upon killing a Skeleton is also rather awesome. Come on, man. You know what I forgot to get, though? I forgot to get myself a bow and arrow. We're going to add that. But what you get when you kill the Skeleton is a little Skeleton skull. So you got a bow and arrow, and you're firing off, and you want to hit a target that's super, super far away. But honestly... You just, you're such a bad shot. See, I can't, I can't hit the cow bat. It's just too far away. Put the skeleton skull, last slot of your inventory, and you've got sniper vision. Check out the, come on, man. Let me, I gotta get this. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm still bad. Oh, wait, actually, that killed him. But see the difference. We'll go ahead and remove the skull like this. Check it out. And you'll notice this is the normal view. Put the skull back where it needs to go, just like that. And you get the ability to be zoomed in whenever you're holding a bow. When you're not holding the bow, you, you, you don't have that zoom vision you got to worry about. The moment you hold the bow, get that crazy sniper view. Just like that. Helps you fire off shots and kill any mobs coming your way. Next one's a fun one. I like this one a lot. This one might be my favorite. It's the creeper. Of course, it's going to be a good one. Now, upon killing a creeper of truth... You're going to get yourself a very special item, but i got to make sure we kill him first. Come on. Stay back, fiend! Yeah! Now look what happens. We got the gunpowder as usual, but you also got the creeper powder. Now this is actually a very cool item. Look what happens. You, you scroll over it and check it out. <laughs> you get blown up, you get blow up damage, and you get resistance. So you don't even blow yourself up. Using this? Look at this! Are you kidding me? Look what you're doing right now. You are traveling to the end of time. Oh, oh, that was close. Okay, that saved me a lot of trouble. You still take fall damage, so use it sparingly. But check that out. Any mobs coming your way? You got to take care of them. That's fine. Just stand right 
That's awesome. That's got to be one of my favorites in this entire little redstone contraption. Check it. You see that? I don't think so. Not even regular creeper is going to take you out. But you can die from fall damage. Now this next one is particularly useful at nighttime. It is the Enderman. And upon killing your best friend the Enderman and getting his Enderman item, which is an end stone, put that in your last slot, look what you get. You get night vision. Suddenly you can see the whole beautiful world around you. Remember, if you take that off, lose the night vision. It slowly goes away, flashes like that, like, hey! You're about to be blind once again. Come on, go away, go away, and then check it out. All gone. Put it back, get your night vision. I love it, it is super useful. Now this next one kind of confused me a little bit. It is the spider. Now, according to Shroomy, upon killing a spider, you gain the ability to attack super fast. See how we're attacking right now? Pretty, pretty fair speed. Let's kill this spider and see what he's talking about. So now you got the spider string, string just like that and you get haste too now look how much faster you can attack the thing is with mobs you can only attack a mob so fast anyways because you can only damage them so many times but imagine if you had a series of mobs all nearby each other you can attack them all extra fast so good in close situations or pvp situations where you need to attack a bunch of things oh stop running man useful if there's a bunch of mobs around not as useful if there's only one mob around, but still, you do get haste, and haste is actually useful for a couple different things. You can actually use it, I believe, to mine faster as well. So not only can you attack faster, but you can also mine significantly faster. Now, with haste, it's kind of hard to appreciate the difference in speed you get upon using the haste effect. I want you to carefully listen to how many, like, little sounds when I'm mining the stone. So you can kind of get an idea of how much faster you are with haste. So listen. About six, six and a half. Listen. About six, right? Okay, now we're gonna go over it with haste. Now we've got the haste effect on. Now listen. Only four. And look how much faster my pickaxe moves. That's awesome. That is insane. Up next for grabs, we have the cave spider, which is a close cousin of the regular old spider. However, its power is actually far different. Now, upon killing yourself a cave spider, you're going to get the cave spider item. Now, what this baby does is it will actually poison mobs that you go around. Now, I don't know if it'll work on cave spiders. I don't know if they're immune to poison or not. See, just walk. Yeah, that might not be the case, but go near a cow. And, and look what happens. It starts getting poisoned. That's actually a fun little fact. You can't poison cave spiders. I guess that makes sense. But going near other cows or uh, cows. <laughs> I keep killing cows. Go near any other item with your cave spider item active and they will actually get poisoned. Now this next one is sweet. It's the silverfish. And upon killing one of these suckers, you get yourself an awesome power. You get yourself the silverfish item. Now check it out. Upon wearing the silverfish item on the corner there and stepping on stone, you become invisible. You can't see me at all right now. Drop it. Look. Become visible again. Pick it up. Go back on there. Well, put it in the right spot. Invisible. Only works on regular stone. Doesn't work on cobblestone. Doesn't work on andesite. Only works on stone, period. So it's, it's useful, but it's not that useful. But you know, it's useful. But, you know, it's I could go on for ages and ages. Now, this next one's a mixed bag of good and bad. It is the witch. <laughs> now, I'm sorry about that. I shouldn't have done that. Upon killing yourself a witch, you actually get a really cool power. First of all, you get yourself an empty bottle. So don't, don't accidentally fill this up because it might mess it up. You get yourself a little witch bottle. Now, upon having the witch bottle in your inventory, you actually become impervious to potion effects however this does mean oh wait I need that this does <laughs> this does mean all sorts of potion effects so for example you know you've got yourself the lovely what is it poison splash it on yourself doesn't affect you slowness splash it on yourself doesn't affect you you've even got yourself weakness splash it on yourself doesn't affect you however like I said, this also means all potion effects. So Splash Potion of Night Vision, put it on yourself, doesn't affect you. Strength, 
doesn't affect you. Fire resistance doesn't affect you. Goodbye, crew world. <laughs> oh, hey, here I am. <laughs> Next up for grabs, we have the slime. The slime is actually a really sweet... Hey! Hey, man, he's coming at me hard. Upon killing a slime, I guess it doesn't matter what size slime you kill, but if you kill any size slime, you'll actually get that special slime ball of truth. By the way, I should take this time to clarify, if you already have a power from a mob and you kill another of the same type, you won't get, you know, another one. You can only have one of these at a time. Upon wearing the slime ball, not only do you get yourself an amazingly good jump boost, but you also take absolutely no fall damage. Super useful for getting around. If you can't reach up there, no problem. Just jump. Don't have to worry about falling off cliffs. No fall damage at all. This is now the last meanie. And by meanie, I mean overworld mob that is an evil guy we have to cover is the only one I forgot to put the spawn egg in for. Right, right, right. It is the guardian. Now, upon killing a guardian, which we'll do, and just quit squirming around, man. Get back here. Uh-oh. <laughs> he does not want to get killed. Come on, man. I'm trying to do a video, man. Look at this. <laughs> Die, will you? Thank you. Upon killing a guardian, I did not mean to drop that. Upon killing a guardian, you get yourself the Guardian Shard of Truth. And upon wearing this in the, the ninth slot of your inventory, you actually get a special helmet. And this helmet gives you some pretty awesome water effects. Once you're in water, you have not only Respiration 10, but Depth Strider 3. I should have had a bigger area. In fact, you might actually not need to be in water to do that. So look, check it out. You get Depth Strider 3 on your helmet, no less. And you also get respiration 10, which essentially means you're going to be able to hold your breath for a stupidly large amount of time. Not infinite, but a very, very long time. So we've covered the overworld evil mobs. Now we're going to cover a few of the nether mobs. Yes, the good stuff right here. First up we have is the zombie pigmen. And I'm going to go ahead... No, let's just hide him. I don't care about him. <laughs> zombie Pigman. Now, upon getting yourself a Zombie Pigman in your sights and killing him, showing him who's boss, you'll get yourself a Pigman Gold Nugget, which will give you infinite fire resistance. Does not matter if it is lava. Does not matter if it's fire. Does not matter if it's a blaze attack. Anything that can set you on fire, you are now impervious to. But the moment you get rid of this nugget, you're going to start taking yourself some sweet fire damage. Don't worry. I'm going to put myself out of my misery that much faster not too bad now next up is a fun one this is the gas and if you're wondering why i got so much going on here didn't actually need that but i forgot to spawn myself one <laughs> now upon killing yourself a gas in fact let's go over here <laughs> i don't need you blowing up my my showcase area boy so you get yourself a gas in fact let's just try and yeah yeah oh yeah he's trying to flee i won't have it man well i even fired that back upon killing yourself a gas you'll actually get yourself a gas fire charge now be careful not to accidentally light anything with this if you right click with a fire charge it will actually use it up but upon getting yourself a little gas token you can actually shoot fireballs the ammo however is snowballs but right clicking with a snowball with your gas selected will actually fire off fireballs let's try it. get that guy yeah and it does cause block damage and it does kill cows just like, I, it's a pattern, you know? I just, I decided when I was setting up this world, I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna make cows. What gets blown up, what gets damaged, what gets offended. Every single time <laughs> something goes on here. And it's raining. The rain's like, I don't want this land on fire, man. I'm gonna put you out right now. So you need snowballs for this, but that is an awesome effect that you get from the ghasts. Ah! Up next we have the Mighty Blaze, and the Blaze is actually a really cool one too. Upon killing yourself a Blaze, which we're going to do right now, come on now, you'll get yourself an Enchanted Blaze Rod. Now this is particularly useful, similar to the way the Poison worked for the Cave Spider. You'll get yourself a Fire Aura. Now upon walking next to any mob that is susceptible to taking fire damage, you will light him on fire. Now this is quite useful for mobs that actually drop meat because the moment this cow goes up in flames, come on, look at that. Oh, he didn't drop any that time. But the final nether mob that is affected by this mob powers redstone contraption is of course 
Le Magma Cube, and upon killing yourself a little Magma Cube, yeah, you get yourself your enchanted Magma Cube item, which we have right here. Now, putting this in the last slot of your inventory gives you fire resistance and jump, 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 jump boost, but you can take fall damage, so you got to kind of be careful. You don't take too much, thankfully, but you do take a little bit. So that is all the evil meanie mobs covered in general. And now all we have left are friendly overworld mobs. The first one we're going to be starting with is the Mushroom. Such a lovely mob. So innocent. He's not hurting anybody. Let's kill him! He's dead. Oh! Upon killing him, Original Shroomy, the maker of the mod, actually decides to send you a message from through the interwebs expressing his sadness. Poor guy. Now, upon getting that, you'll get yourself a Mushroom Cube. Wearing the Mushroom Cube is actually quite useful and is arguably one of the most useful blocks slash items added. Upon taking damage, you'll actually get a regen potion thrown at you from above. This will constantly keep you healed and healing. So, very useful for situations where there's a monster nearby. Check it out, see we're on fire, it's constantly throwing a regen potion from above us. All right, man, I get the picture. Up next for grabs is the butt end of all of today's jokes, the lovely cow. I, man, I forgot to put, we'll just grab one of these for the time being. Now, upon killing yourself a lovely bovine friend, you'll get yourself your special cow leather. Now this is rather cool for the fact that, oh, come on. Will you, will, you, will you catch fire already? Upon putting this in the ninth slot of your inventory and finding another mob, you can actually charge into them and it will cause them to take damage. A good amount of damage. Now, we may as well use the little pork chop we got from killing that poor sucker from charging into it. Man, I wonder... Oh, that must have hurt. Anyways, we get ourselves the lovely pig item. Now, we'll switch back to game mode zero here. Through the magic of editing, I somehow became in creative mode. Upon taking damage, just like with a normal old pig, you'll start squealing about, you'll actually get a speed boost. So if you're ever in danger, you'll be able to outrun any enemies giving you trouble. See, check it out. Speed boost, that's right. Jump over the fire. Actually, that, that did not work. You let me down, pig. That'll do. Next one up is the sheep. And we're actually gonna take this guy over to the village to show off his ability. Reason we wanted to do that is so that we could take some hunger and kill this sucker! Upon killing the sheep, you actually get yourself a nice sheep wool. Now the ability of sheep wool is actually very, very cool. Notice I'm walking around, right? On some wood, on some gravel, on some cobblestone. Notice that nothing is happening. Upon walking on grass, you eat the grass and you gain all of your little drumsticks back instantly. Did you see that? No? You weren't paying attention? What's wrong with you? Just kidding. You wouldn't have known to look at the drumsticks. Rewind the video and you'll see we were almost at a very, well, we were at a very low hunger and upon walking on grass, we get ourselves awesome saturation. Now this next one is the chicken. Oh, drumstick. I don't want to have to kill you, dude. But I must for science. You get yourself a chicken feather. Not just a regular feather, but a chicken feather. Now this is useful in that you take no fall damage. I wish you floated. I wish you floated down slowly. Not the case. Similar to the slime, you take zero fall damage. Oh, drumstick. Things are getting down to the wire. Only seven mobs left. Up next is the squid. Mr. Squid. Will you sacrifice yourself for the greater good of this video? Yes, you will. Upon killing the squid, you get yourself a squid ink sack. Now, putting this on will give you, that's right, infinite water breathing. Different from the guardian in that with the squid, you will actually be able to breathe forever. Assuming you have this on you. Otherwise, you get yourself the bubbles. The bubbles come back. They start breaking. Whatever. Right? Right. Up next is probably my other favorite mob. It is the bat. Now, can you guess what happens upon killing a bat? You get yourself a little bat tear. Oh! But here is what is awesome about the bat. You can fly. You fly. You literally fly. If you want to go down for whatever reason, just walk around. You'll slowly go down. Sneaking will actually make you go down sooner. But 
to fly, you simply just jump. And then using the magic of infinitely replacing barrier blocks, you can actually fly around in Minecraft. Crazy stuff. Once again, sneak, just plain old walk around, and you will slowly lose altitude. It's real nice. It's real nice. You get, you, get a, you get a real lovely view. You also get yourself a little bit of a jump boost, too. I assume that's supposed to be as if you're flapping about or something. Check me out. This is sick. You know what? I think I think we should just go ahead and <laughs> descend back to Earth. <laughs> nice. Next up, we have ourselves the majestic horse. Upon killing yourself, a beautiful horse. I'm sorry, man. It had to be that way. You'll get yourself some horse wheat. Upon wearing the horse wheat, you will get a nice, hefty speed boost and an even nicer big old yeah you see it big old jump boost i like it i love it i want some more up four more to go now we take on the ocelot the oh so hard to kill and track ocelot oh gosh this is going to be a test of my patience come on man you know what i got an idea i should go get the horse one nah just kidding he's dead upon getting an ocelot you get yourself an ocelot fish now now can you just can you just take a guess as to what you think you're going to get upon using the Ocelot? Just guess. You get a crazy good speed boost. Once again, for avoiding enemies, skeletons, creepers, zombies, your best friend, your mom, anyone you just need to run away from. The Ocelot item is what you're going to want to get. Though, I might recommend you actually go kill a horse, because then you get the same speed boost, I think, as well as a jump boost. Plus... Who wants to kill Ocelots? They're already hard enough to find. Next up, we have the rabbit. Now, the rabbit, again, is a little bit of an obvious one. You kill a rabbit, you get yourself a little rabbit foot. That's kind of, that's kind of sad, actually. Upon wearing the rabbit foot, you get yourself a hefty jump boost. Not a hefty jump boost, but you get yourself a jump boost. I feel like the horse is, the horse ability is the rabbit and the Ocelot combined. So, you know... Cool, useful, kill a rabbit if there's no horses nearby, kill an ocelot if there's no horses nearby, but if you're ever in a world where there's a rabbit, an ocelot, and a horse, and you don't mind killing horses, I guess, just, just go ahead and kill the horse. Now we only have two more left. The wolf. The wolf is the next one up for grabs. Upon killing yourself a lovely wolf pal, you'll get yourself a wolf bone. This will give you a speed boost and a strength boost. Now, I need a mob to, to test this on. Right, so normally a chicken, you, you need four punches for a chicken, right? Normally. This? Check it out. Now? <laughs> you only need two punches. Not bad, not bad. Hard to really tell the difference, but we're going to summon a zombie here. We're going to punch him with our bone. Normally, I think they have like 20 hearts. Look how much faster you kill it. This suddenly makes punching a viable option. But if you've got a sword with strength too, you're pretty much unstoppable. Like literally on my SMP server, you're not allowed to use strength two potions for combat because that is how strong they are. And that leaves us with only one more chest. Now the thing about this chest is I actually have no idea what killing a villager will do. I watched a different video explaining these different powers. I don't know. I have no idea what to expect upon killing a villager. Now let's see. What should we go and get? What, maybe you get like emeralds or something? I don't know. Well, first, what do you have to offer me? Armor, got some, you got a helmet here, you got some coal here. Rip off, man! That, what? Villagers are people too? What? Have you seen? The scams they try and pull on me, bro? What do you got? Butcher? Butcher? You want 14 chickens for one emerald? You want me to kill and slaughter? 14 drumsticks? <sighs> Alright. I get it. Don't kill villagers. Shroomer's totally fine with you killing his mushroom ally, but the moment you set foot and you draw your blade and you slay a testificate, aka a villager, you've crossed the line, clearly. <laughs> well, either way, guys, that is the mob power and abilities 
Minecraft Redstone mod. Once again, no mods actually required for this. All you need to do is import a schematic, which we're gonna jump over to right now, into your Minecraft world. That's right, all you need is this little box. Put it in your Minecraft world. It's all command block magic going off constantly, updating you when you know it, when it knows you killed a mob, it'll give you the item. You can even disable it for whatever reason you don't want it working temporarily, and then flip it back on. Instantly works, instantly get mob powers. All you gotta do is import that little box into your Minecraft world, any Minecraft world with MC Edit. If you guys want a tutorial on that, or if you enjoy today's Redstone Mod Showcase, make sure you drop a like on the video. It means so much to have your support. I'd love to see 500 likes for this amazing Redstone contraption. Check out Original Shroomy in the description below, as well as the download link, and we will catch you for the next video. See ya!